Hello world, this is Random Fix, and in this video today we're going to go ahead and try out the c Techie T240. And this portable power station right here has pretty much everything you want in this very small little package. And I'm going to be going over with you some of the features in this video today and show you all the different uses you can get out of this. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel here. This is Random Fix. So this video is going to be about this power station right here from c -Techie. It's the T240. There's also a 320 version of this, which is just going to have a little bit of a bigger battery. So we're going to go ahead and cover this in depth a little bit. So this is the actual unit itself. And I'm going to go ahead and go over this with you guys. Let me show you guys what's included in the package itself. So this is the box. It actually came pretty well packaged. The unit arrives in... Uh, some nice protective foam and right here we can see this has AC out so you can plug in your household appliances as long as they take less than 200 watts and it has DC output so you could go ahead and use this to power up a portable refrigerator or anything else it's got USB out and then it's got a bi-directional type C out so that can actually be used to power up your MacBook Pro or you could actually use it to charge the device as well, which is a great feature, and I really love that. And on that USB-C, it can go ahead and charge up to 60 watts, and then has a Qualcomm 3.0 fast charging for your smartphones. So this is great if you're going camping, adventure, exploration, trips, fishing, anything like that. I'm actually traveling right now, and I'm in Montana here, and... I've gone on a month long trip across America here so this is a great little backup solution for me in case my inverter goes out or I just need something a little bit more portable because this is definitely portable and it's easy to go ahead and carry it around it's got a great feel to it so we got that on here and the specs on this are going to be that has the USB the 5 volt with the Qualcomm connection on here 18 watts max and then we have two regular USBs with 2.4 amps max and we have all the different ports right here so basically this has a total energy capacity of 240 watt hours or 18.75 amp hours so if you wanted to figure out how long this would run a 30 watt fridge you would go ahead and times this by 0.9 and then divide it by your 30 watt hours which would equal roughly about 7.1 hours of use so this could power up that device if it was a portable fridge it would be a lot longer because it was turn off and on so let me show you guys what's actually in the box now so this is the way it comes go ahead and open up the box and it's nicely well packaged and it comes with the accessory box right here so inside the accessory box right here we have the owner's manual and this goes over some specific directions like if you're going to go ahead and use this make sure you charge this every three months it is a lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry which is exactly the chemistry you want because the charge cycles on the lithium ion phosphate batteries is about 2000 plus so you can get five to ten years of use out of this and it's exactly what I have in my Sprinter van. It costs a little bit more money, but trust me guys, it's well worth it because you're basically tripling the life of your device, if not quadrupling it. As most lithium batteries have a cycle from anywhere from about 400 to about 1,000 max. So the owner's manual's here. Then we get a wall adapter here. And this wall adapter charges from my readings at about 45 watts when you're charging it. And I'll show you guys that later on. And we also go ahead and get a USB-C connection right here. And this is my favorite way of charging this. And the way I actually charge it, I use my Nintendo Switch connector to go ahead and charge this up, which I'll show you guys later on. So if we look at the device right here, this would go right into here. And this is bi-directional, so power could come in and out. The last connector that it comes with is going to be the solar connector right here and this is really nice because it already has mc4 connectors on here 
and this cable is about a $30 cable which is really nice that it came included and again your solar panels just go right into here and you can plug into about a hundred watt solar panel which is great and solar panels are very affordable for the sprinter van I was able to buy 200 watts of solar for under $200 with a mounting bracket so very great that this was included in there lastly it comes with some anti-slip pads right here which I guess you could attach to the bottom right here and it would keep it from moving around I already see some attached here so maybe these are extras and these portable power stations are really great because my kid just came up to me and told me his car had died so I'm charging it while I'm making this video now so basically uh, you can use it to power up anything right you could use it to go ahead and charge up your drones using the AC ports down here remote controlled cars laptops anything you can imagine it can go ahead and handle for you now that we know what it comes with let's go ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and turn on the unit and show you some of the basic functions and I'll go more into how to charge it the different ways of doing that and then lastly we'll go ahead and use it to power up some devices so to turn on the unit you want to go ahead and turn it towards the front and right here is going to be the front of the unit go ahead and hold this button down and you're going to go ahead and see this display now and that basically indicates the state of the charge we have the 12 volts on right now in the usb so these ports right here are powered up as well as these and we can go ahead and operate the flashlight by hitting the little flashlight icon right there and the first time you push it it just turns it on and off and it's actually a nice flashlight it's kind of dispersed light so it'll give you good coverage without blinding you and if you go ahead and hold on to it you'll go ahead and get a strobe and then if you hold on to it again you'll get a SOS so and if you go ahead and tap the power button one more time you'll actually turn on the AC ports down here and there's two of these and these are really great because now you can go ahead and power up your household electronics on the go. And one thing that I really liked about this unit is the feel of this, guys. This feels really, really good. So it's nice and portable, compact. So next we're going to be talking about the four different ways of charging this. So let's talk about the different ways of charging this. My favorite way is charging it with a USB-C. And with that... I like the connector on it so you can go ahead and plug it in and you can see that this is going to be pulling in this is my nintendo switch adapter right here and this charges at about 30 watts and if you have a better adapter like this it could do it at 60 watts so that's number one way of charging it number two way of charging it is going to be using this included ac adapter and that will go up to I think the 50 to 40 watt range and if you use both the USB-C and the included adapter you can go ahead and charge this unit in only about 2.7 hours third way of charging this is going to be using your vehicles cigarette lighter port and this was included and that easy the fourth way of charging it and uh, is going to be using the mc4 connectors which come standard on any solar panel and they just plug right in and you're good to go and you can include up to 100 watt 12 volt solar panel as long as the input does not exceed 20 volts you're good and one thing I actually like about this T240 is the feel of this. This is one of the more compact units I've actually run across and it's not bulky. You can literally take this with you on the go. So if maybe if you're going to a park and you got to do some work, in my case I'm actually going to be editing a few videos. So I'm going to be using this to go ahead and power up my laptop. And I've actually powered up two laptops with this uh, with no problem. So it feels good, nice and compact and looks good too it's not an ugly color the material on it is nice it's nice and protected on the corners here because it's got this nice rubber feeling and 
And now let's go ahead and charge up a battery here on this Maverick Air 2. So this battery uh, is somewhat charged. So let's go ahead and charge this up. And I've had about 300 watt inverters that basically time out when I connect these. So we'll see how this guy does. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the AC power. And we got the watt meter hooked up right here. So we're going to go to watts and the battery's lighting up now so it's pulling at about 40 watts and it's smooth as i said i've actually used it to power up several laptops at the same time and never had any issues and has plenty of power so to kind of give you an idea this has 75,000 milliamps so if your phone is 5,000 milliamps right for example on a bigger phone you're going to be able to go ahead and charge that up quite a few times so really nice power bank and this thing is almost short of being perfect if it had a few other options such as maybe a wireless charger and i'll talk about that towards the end of the video but overall it can handle it and it's going to be a very nice portable power station that you can take with you and not have to worry about taking up a lot of room in your vehicle Thank you so much for staying tuned until the end of the video. And that was actually my favorite part of the video where I actually go ahead and give this a random fix grade so you can go ahead and make a better decision for yourself that you can go ahead and evaluate for yourself. And the very first criteria is, is there any notice glitches? And the best score that you can get on this is a 10 out of 10. On this unit, I did not see any noticeable glitches. So it gets a eight out of 10 on this. And the display quality, on this um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10 just because it's pretty basic I know it's only a very inexpensive unit and currently this is selling for about 250 bucks on Amazon with a hundred off coupon it equals about 150 I think I will be able to get you guys a better deal so check the links below if I can get you guys any better pricing so 7 out of 10 on the display quality as far as does it feel good the power station actually feels surprisingly good on this one and I gave this an 8 out of 10 just because it's ultra portable and you could take this with you guys and power up your MacBooks, your drones, your RC cars and not have to worry about running out and price per kilowatt hour here so I got this at 62.5 cents and this is actually a really good price I've had bigger units that come in under 65 cents so this is actually beating those units even though this is a smaller unit which is normally the other way around and battery type this is going to be a lithium ion phosphate battery right here so this gets a 10 out of 10 because this is the battery chemistry that we're looking for as far as native apps on criteria number six we're going to go ahead and give this a zero it does not have any apps that you can use adapters included it's going to get a 8 out of 10 because we got four different ways of charging the actual unit it came with the USB-C cable and overall I think this is a very nice accessory bundle that it comes with and charging options I went ahead and gave this uh, 8 out of 10 because we can charge it the ways I showed you with the inputs from the cigarette lighter the adapter and the solar as well as the bi-directional USB-C here Charging wattage, I went ahead and gave this a 7 out of 10 again because we can go ahead and charge both of these at the same time and we'll be able to charge them in about 2.7 hours using both the input here and also a 60 watt bi-directional USB-C. And the last thing is going to be pricing. So currently, as I said, this is $250 with a $100 off coupon. It equals $150. And and for the pricing, I went ahead and gave this a 9 out of 10. So we have a combined score of 73 out of 100. So which is a really good score for a unit that's under $150, guys. And it's got the right battery chemistry. And you can use this for 5 to 10 years. I think overall, this is definitely going to get a random fix thumbs up from me. And again, I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you guys got any questions, please leave them below. And I'll have a playlist to other portable power stations just like this. If you guys want to check those out and compare this. But again, for under $200, great unit. And I do want to thank the vendor over at C Techie to, for sending this over to me. 
And as usual, I've kept my review honest to give you guys better information so you guys can make a better decision for yourself. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful. And if you guys have never been to Montana before, guys, I would highly recommend it. Bring your power station and bring your camera because you're going to make a lot of great memories out here. And the people here are amazing. We'll see you on the next one. So, hey, guys, check this out. i actually been editing videos this whole afternoon here. And I've only lost one bar. This thing's a winner.